And there's a few different areas that I'll go through quite quickly. Um, one is that these companies are usually mid business, mid-sized businesses from about I'd say 20 million revenue Australian dollars, um, maybe 50 employees, something like that. But that's not a hard and fast rule. That's not a criteria. As these companies mature, they start off with, or start with the finance system, and they have this stacking of solutions on top of that. So there'll be a lot of Excel. A lot of spreadsheets, information that is being aggregated from exports of other third-party applications, and data is emerging out of a centralized spreadsheet for reporting, and that's just not workable in the long term. So, what you see is that these companies have reactively purchased the best of breed, I would say, really good point solutions, like a very good CRM system, a time sheeting system. They've got their finance system, but they not integrated. Second thing we see is um, companies sustain a rapid growth um, spurt. So you've got the company growing at a nice rate and they won some contract or have a huge project and they're about to t make have a uh, hockey stick on their graph of revenue and they need to go, someone in the organization goes, hey, we need to go to an ERP system to because we can't run our, our business on what we have at the moment. Um, sometimes that's not triggered via the growth spurt. Sometimes it's an incoming CIO or IT manager comes in and that expertise from external, this is another set of eyes coming in on the business and goes, guys, can't run your business like this. First point of order, we're going to market to um, assess an ERP system to grow the business. Um, with an ERP system, you've got a lot of advantages around what you're seeing on a dashboard of every bit of information is one or two clicks away. You don't have your disparate pieces of data. You got one set of master data, and you can see top customers, top uh, highest revenue, uh, revenue by project, by consultant, by year-to-date revenue, average days in receivable, whatever you want to have on the on your dashboard. You can quickly drill down and investigate information, and you're not relying on that third-party information. So those are a couple of reasons. There's a, I'm sure there's a ton of other reasons, but um, uh, the key thing would be to be asking yourself, what would my business look like if it was to grow by 30%, 50%? Will the current systems and processes in place at the moment survive if we were, we were to grow by 50%? If the answer is no, perhaps you should be looking at an ERP system. Hope that's been helpful and thanks for watching.